It's addressed to me. I've been waiting for this. Perfect. It's a special tool for a special use. It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. Yes! It's my father's watch! It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's... It's a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed. I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed, and more than usual, with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. Diggin! I don't have a reason to use Uncle Chuck's oscilloscope. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. 
That doesn't seem to work. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. Hmm, funny desk. No drawers at all. Hello, Agent Reyes. I hear you're trying to get into the factory, too. Maybe we can help each other. That would be fantastic. Who knows? Our goals might be connected. That's what I was thinking. I can't help but feel that Willie is innocent. That might be true, but it's in the jury's hands now. He will get a fair trial. I'm not sure I trust the Jury Tron 3000. I thought about being a secret agent, but game design seemed more fun. It's a rewarding job. Agent Reyes, you seem kind of familiar. Um, people tell me that all the time. I have a very, um, familiar face. <laughs> hmm. You know, the more I talk to you, the more familiar you seem. Uh, no, I'm not. Hmm. Huh. I need to go. The doors are closed. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? I'd like some tickets for ThimbleCon. I'm sorry. We only have ThimbleCon tickets for K Scum a Boo contest winners. You should listen to K Scum on the radio for your chance to win a boo. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Open that. I can't turn it off. The knob is missing, and the radio is bolted to the cabinet. The sheriff left it on as a form of torture. Pizza, pizza! 
secret pizza meeting. You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. What's the deal with the pizza coupon? You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. Okay, but what do I get with it? <laughs> um, a coupon? <sighs> nice costume. Thanks. It protects me from the signals. Do we know each other? Wait a second. You look familiar. <laughs> Weren't we in freshman chem class together? What's your name? Dolores. I know who you are. You're Dolores Edmund. You and your Uncle Chuck were working on mind control, Ray, to remove our free will before he died. What? Don't play dumb with me. I know you put bugs in our pillows. You'll never take me alive! Ah! Hello, 198.7 FM KSCUM listeners. DJ Cassie here. We interrupt our hostile takeover of the airwaves with this important announcement. I have four free ThimbleCon 87 tickets to give away. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover. It's literally... It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. Hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is, who played Marty McFly in Back to the Future? That's correct. Here's your second question. Who said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall? You got it right. And your final question, fill in the blank. This is your brain, this is drugs, blank. You got it! 
got it. Let's see how you did. You got three out of three. A perfect score! You win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Um, uh, my name. Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel aboo in the tri thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? There should be some ThimbleCon tickets in my name. Yes, I do have tickets from the K-Scum Abu Trivia Contest. What is your name, Abu, please? Ah, yes, here's your name, Abu, on the list. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Thanks. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Ah, uh, prosper. Do you need some cosplay advice? I'm not cosplaying. Whatever you say. See you later. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I don't read comics. Okay. I don't know what D&D is. Okay. Goodbye. Figurines are not a distraction I need right now. Huh. It's a character from upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. Starships in bottles! Handmade! How do you make the starships so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry tools? Despite not having the requisite plus five dexterity to wield them, I might loan you the tools if you can get me some dinner. What do you want in exchange for your tools? Well, I'm really craving a hamburger. How about a hot dog? No, definitely not. A hamburger is what I need. Get me a hamburger and I'll see what I can do for you. How much do your starships cost? More than someone in your pay bracket can afford. But today, we're doing a special deal. If you can answer me this one question, you will get a free starship in a bottle. What is the question I need to answer to get a free starship? Warning! You only have one chance to get this right. Which is the best science fiction show ever made? Star Trek. Congratulations! 
You've won a replica of the starship Isabella. Bye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. I can't imagine why I would want to talk to him. Not sure what I'd talk to them about. Cutting edge computer technology. He's Cory! And he's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the lookalike contest! Yeah, so? Get out of here! <laughs> Good one, Cory! For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown! Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi, Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000 and I didn't see a cent of that money. I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. My apologies. I'll go to the Mansion Mansion right away. Pew! 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 I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this treatment? All I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh at the stupidity of stupid people. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this, but you, I'm Ransom the Clown. It's all that Franklin's fault. He was gonna talk to Chuck about putting my new high-tech Ransom the Clown license dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my next wife. Okay, I need to break into that pillow factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. You! You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. No, but I can refuse you service because you're a B-pole clown. Tell it to someone that cares. Just order your food and get lost. Give me a greasy crap burger with extra heart attack. We're not serving hamburgers until our hot dogs are gone. Now get lost. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... I hope you choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap! And I oughta know. 
I, uh, gotta go. <sighs> I feel better now. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. The government is brainwashing you with secret transmissions. We just don't... I'm not really hungry, and I'm glad I could waste your time. Now get lost. He's Cory! And? He's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the look-alike contest! Yeah, so? Get out of here! <laughs> Good one, Cory! For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown! Amateurs. Wow! No need to start swearing. And get a better costume! It's like you're not even trying! Ooh, burn! Ready to face my adoring public and win this contest already. Thank you all for coming to witness the Ransom Lookalike Contest. We've got a great crowd here tonight. What is he, blind? Huh, stinks in here. Yes, well, it looks like we've got some great entries and some not so great entries. But I'll be the judge of that. That's right, I'll be judging the contestants as they try to make us laugh. First up, we have Cory. I'm Ransom, the jerk clown. It's Ransom, the insult clown, you moron. That's not a nice thing to say. Ooh, that's some cape you've got on there, kid. I bet your mom made it with love. I hope there's a Batman look-alike contest for you soon. You definitely win. <laughs> so convincing. You've gotta be kidding. That wasn't an insult. It was a crappy compliment. I don't like hats. Is that the only fact you know about me? Who are you? Why do I bother? I was amazed you aren't a bunch of fatzos. Fatso? That's an incredibly hurtful and vulgar word to use. It's not something that any decent people say in public. You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The sheriff, coroner, and hotel manager are all distinct people and awesome in their own right. You should be thanking them for keeping the town running. What's the deal with all these Tron machines? The Tron machines have saved our town countless times. There's no reason not to rely on them. Bunch of ingrates. 
Sounds like someone has to update their jokes. Now we have our final contestant, Corey. Wasn't Chuck the best human? Don't you think? Yes, Anne. Where's the punchline? Punchline? What are you talking about? Bloop, bloop, and bleep, bloop! It's beep for sake, not bloop. Don't be mean. You're all silly billies, but you're still lovable. Oh, f kill me now. Mm, this won't take long to decide the winner. In first place is, obviously, Corey! Oh my! Thank you! Corey wins a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. I'm going to make a cute fuzzy dog! But you can just walk into any toy store and buy that already! Second place is Corey. Of course it well is. Totally rigged. How can anyone compete with Corey? It's a pleasure to come second to his first. You've won a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. How exciting! Just like my hero, Michael Jackson. Which leaves third and last place to... What was your name, anyway? It's Ransom, you idiot! Oh, your name is Ransom, too? That's an odd coincidence. Pity your act wasn't very convincing. Ugh. Ugh. So third place goes to the poorly named Ransom. You win an easy listening theremin record by Psykin. I don't want more junk. Congratulations to those who put some effort in. Hello, fans and tuna heads. Just wanted you to know that I'm Ransom the Clown, and you're not. Now the contest is over, there isn't anything going on in here. I hate this town. Hello, Agent Ray. I keep finding these specks of dust all over the place. They've been around since before I can remember. I can't stop picking them up, either. Never have been able to. We're both trying to get into the factory. Maybe we can team up. I think that's a great idea. Well, it is your patriotic duty to help the Feds. Bye. Pew! 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 I can't imagine a game nerd would have anything I want. Cutting edge computer technology. The developers will get upset if I do more than look at this. Pew, pew, pew! Hey, creepy clown. I hate to say this, but maybe we could all work together. Sure, after I get a f apology for the illegal suspicion. I just need to check one box, and you're in there with Willie. Fine, 
I'll, I'll break into the factory, but hands off my comeback doll. Like I care about a doll. I hear you lost the Ransom Lookalike contest. Yeah, I hear Cory and the Dragon had a thing. Only explanation I can think of. I wish I could say it's been a pl It's my specks of dust. Interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad. And I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, gotta go. dead it's just starting to you know sink in i'm never going to hold my dolores again i never told her how proud i was of her for getting that job designing games i was you know too afraid of what chuck would think now i'm dead i don't remember who killed me or why i'm trapped in this hotel i need to find a way to escape from here there has to be a way out a magical book or a spell Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. Shut up in there! We will, too, have colonized Mars by 2017. The elevator isn't on this floor. I can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, and you'll never get it. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. But hypothetically, if you were to get it, 
and only hypothetically, because you will never get it. Yes, you know, only hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, you would just take it into my secret room, and you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. Can I please have the crystal so I could speak to Dolores one last time? Not a chance, new ghost. The crystal behind me has untold powers, and no one will ever get it. Sorry, you know, to bother you, Xavier. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Stay away from my crystal. Great view. I can see everything from here. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Starships in bottles, handmade. Can I try the question to win a free starship? Only one starship in a bottle is given out free per day. Come back tomorrow for another chance. But I won't be here tomorrow. Not my problem. Bye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. Ugh, I'd love to talk to him, but I'm too shy. What with him being famous and all. The developers will get upset if I do more than look at this. Uh, hi, Ransom. What the f*** do you want? I hear you're trying to get into the factory, too. Maybe we can help each other. Yeah, your f uncle stole something of mine. I really want it back. I just want to find out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Your uncle! You know, I was at your fateful last performance. Well, good for you. So did I insult you? No, I was hiding behind the person in front of me. Your tough luck, I loved insulting kids. It was so easy to make them cry. Seeing you curse scarred me for life. Oh, now you're just being dramatic. Between all those sobbing people and Madame Marina's curse, I still get nightmares. Well, how do you think I feel? That witch ruined my career, and now I can't even afford to buy makeup remover. As if it would do any good. Well, I think you probably deserved it. You! I need to go. Hello, Agent Reyes. I hear you're trying to get into the factory, too. Maybe we can help each other. That would be fantastic. Who knows? Our goals might be connected. That's what I was thinking. Nah, I need to go. It's a puzzle dependency chart. The secret to adventure game design. Looks like Marvin's cousin, Gary. I'm trying not to be convinced into buying any more figurines. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I've read all these comics. Okay. I have a level 7 wizard. Doug's a good D&D DM. Okay. I love Star Trek. I want to live on the Enterprise. Okay. Goodbye. Pew, pew, pew! A new Coke vending machine. 
It only sells new Coke, and no one wants that. The doors are closed. Who's that now? This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her. It's a door, but with strange symbols on it. Looks like Chuck got a tomb to fit his ego.